We were known as uh, repatriated because there were many people being repatriated every day, hundreds of them. She found out that people are, were being repatriated back to Mexico and she got concerned about that. My older sister had already gone to live in Mexico and she told her that life over there was cheaper, you know. So my mother would rather to wait for the immigration to ship her back, chose to go on her own. So she rented a truck, put her belongs in it, and we had it for Mexico. Oddly enough, a family of eight, six were U.S. citizens, you know. What an altogether different culture for us. We were not used to seeing so many kids around the neighborhoods. So it was quite a shock, really. And that one night we stayed at a farm and uh, all they had was just boiled beans. So they gave us a bowl of beans and when we finished eating, the man very uh, uh, humbly says, uh, uh, if you're not full, there's a barrel of water and you know, you can fill up yourself, drink all the water you want. You know. On the way, I decided to stop by my sister's, by my half-sister's house. And she was just as poor as we were. She lived in a one, room uh, adobe house. I remember the front door was a piece of canvas and she rolled up at night, down at night, and rolled up at day to have uh, light. So I stopped by and started playing with my two nephews and my niece, and uh, uh, they didn't have anything to eat. So anyway, I decided to spend the night with them. At least I had some company there. So before going to bed, which was the floor with a canvas. One of my nephews said, uh, did you know that we hang a stocking, uh, Santa Claus will fill it up with goodies? Uh, so we thought, well, maybe so, so let's do it. So we hung a sock on the crates that my sister had for cabinets. So we all went pretty excited, went to bed. We covered ourselves with a canvas. And next morning, real early, we got up all excited. And uh, the first thing we thought was of the sock and we rushed to the sock, which was empty, you know. So we began to think, well, maybe Santa Claus forgot to stop or he ran out of things to give. We gave Santa Claus an out. On my way home, I could hear this voice saying, why should you have those nice things? You're a poor kid. Poor kids don't deserve those things. So that experience stayed in my mind um, up to today. I still remember that. And it makes me very humble what we had to go through. I think it was an economic situation like it, it is today, you know. The same things happening today that happened uh, in those times. It's almost unbelievable, but it's happening. Uh, I never thought it would happen again. But it's happening all over the country.